Hi, Joanna Hadaraska, Nutrition in Motion, Nutrition to Harmonize Body, Mind, Spirit, and Sport. So a lot of times we, we tell ourselves things that aren't really true and maybe the opposite of what we call the lies that we tell ourselves, maybe the opposite is actually true. So what if we told ourselves that I need to be on an acid blocker or I need to have something to control my, my GERD and my heartburn where the opposite might be true that you can actually heal the GI issues in any of those symptoms naturally. So a lot of what I do uh, when I'm working with clients with GI issues or anything else is really asking them questions about when did some of this happen because a lot of times it's really why is this happening because we're stressed. You know, with a client that I recently had Anxiety was uh, was an issue, and so we actually worked on doing some uh, emotional release techniques and really kind of getting to the root of, well, why are we anxious? Um, why is that anxiety there, and how can we reframe it to make it better? And if you think about how the digestive uh, process works, the stress that we have, whether it's emotional stress, whether it's emotion, physical stress, um, whether it's environmental stress or chemical stress, these are all stressors. And our adrenals get stressed. And our body is in that fight or flight mode. And when we're in that fight or flight mode, do you think digestion is actually something that is a priority? It's not. So our digestion slows down. So a lot of times when we have GERD or heartburn, uh, and some other GI issues, it's because of that stressful situation and the body hasn't recovered yet. So your body may ne actually need more acid in the stomach because when there's not enough of the acid in the stomach, the food is not being digested properly. That creates more of an imbalance in the intestinal tract. And then based on if we're still stressed and we're still eating foods that are... Um, uh, for comfort and for emotional comfort, then those typically feed the imbalance and so then the GI issues get a little bit worse. When that stomach acid is actually low, there's this nice little um, esophagus that we have and there's this sphincter at the bottom and when that acid level is where it's supposed to be, that sphincter stays closed. When the acid is too low, it opens up and then you get that acid reflux in the and um, some of those other symptoms that we call heartburn or otherwise. So it's really looking at the big picture and saying, okay, where did my GI issues start from? Was there a stressful episode? And has my body actually recovered? I can help you actually with that recovery part because depending on how severe the symptoms are, we can do some emotional release techniques to alleviate the stress. We can change the foods to lessen the, um, the, the problem, but we really work on rebalancing the whole intestinal tract and really understanding what, how is it that we can restore the body's ability to digest and create that acid back into the system now that the stressful situation has passed. So if you have any questions about GI issues, then you can contact me, Joanna Hodoroska, Nutrition in Motion, because we can actually have, um, have you be without any kind of GI issues and be normal without having to worry about, oh, can I eat that? Oh, is that going to cause a problem? And just enjoy your life once again. Joanna Hodoroska, Nutrition in Motion, www.nutritioninmotion.net.